Okay, I try not to be unnecessarily dramatic around here. So tonight was not really a make or break game this season for Georgia Southern, but after the last couple of weeks, there is a growing portion of the fan base that seems to think that this year's team looks pretty uninspired out there. They could change that tonight. South Alabama at Southern on big ESPN three to three as we pick it up here in the second quarter and we start with a Yas King JD King puts the good guys ahead 10 to three. Look at that chippy truck stick move, but South wasted no time getting the Eagles back. They drove the length of the field at the end of the first half and Desmond Trotter makes a great play, extends and finds Brandon Crum, touchdown, sends it into halftime, tied up at 10. It was kind of an ugly game tonight, but it did stay close in the second half because that's the Eagles MO this year apparently. Trotter gets it here in a really great tight window. All of a sudden, the Jags are on top headed to the fourth quarter, but that is when our boy took over. The Benedictine graduate, Wes Kennedy, still the most explosive dude on the team, sees a hole and does work untouched. We got a tie game in the fourth. Defense for Southern did its job. Offense got the ball back pretty quickly in the next couple of minutes, and they did the right thing and went right back to number 12 on offense. Play of the night here. Made something out of absolutely nothing and puts them up 24 to 17 late in the fourth. Less than a minute left now. Fourth down and long for South Alabama. Watch this play. This is for the game. Less than a minute left. They throw for the end zone. Receiver catches the ball. Or did he? He got his feet in bounds. Take a look at the replay. Didn't have full possession, even though it looked like he caught it. Georgia Southern holds on to win. They survive a scare, and they maybe get a little bit lucky 24 to 17.